Welcome back, friends. Get ready to take a trip down Morro Road and discover for yourself if the urban legend of the Morro Road haunting is true or not. Hmm. Let's start digging. Here to tell us more about this Clay Township urban legend is Francis Sampier, the owner of Raptors Den Video Production, and he's making a movie about the urban legend. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you? Uh, thank you for having me. I'm doing very good. Excellent. Now, I am so intrigued to find out more about the haunting, the ghost. Francis, how did this urban legend get started? Okay, so the research, the extensive research I've done over the years uh, points that in 1893, a woman uh, did disappear looking for her lost child. Uh, most believe was a, a four-year-old boy. Um, but where this gets interesting is no one agrees upon how that happened, even if it did, right? Oh, wow. Uh, so there's about 10 theories in real life uh, when I did all the research to, you know, what people think may have happened to both of them. Right. Wow. So what will your movie really highlight about this urban legend? The film will highlight all 10 theories, oh. actually. Um, our film is not only horror, it's yeah. suspense and mystery. So you will see all 10 of those theories play out as it's a guessing game as the film continues. You're trying to figure out which one of these theories actually occurred. As the film progresses, a character says, well, this is what I heard happen, and then mm -hmm. boom, we cut to the late 1800s, mm -hmm. and we show it as they tell their tale. But then later on in the film, other characters say, no, 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 I heard this happen, and <laughs> boom, we cut to that. And, you know, we see that version, and now you're like, wait, which, what really did happen? Oh you know, my so gosh. Even if you're not into horror, yeah. uh, this, is a, this is a very interesting film. It's a very uh, dark and serious uh, film as well that has a message, it has a point. Yeah, the suspense and the mystery, I love it. That is right up my alley, oh my goodness. So it's so awesome, Francis, that you're filming the movie all in Michigan. Where are you filming and why is it so important for you to really put Michigan in the spotlight? So the answer, to why it's important to put Michigan in the spotlight is because it's a Michigan legend, mm -hmm. right? So it, it belongs in Michigan. You know, the movie yeah. in our past, when we tried to do a union version, uh, that version pretty much ensured we would not have shot it here. Wow. Um, now that we are doing non-union, you know, this film, uh, it, there's no issues, you know, having the film here at all. We're shooting in, uh, so far, it's entirely in Southeast Michigan. Yeah. Um, I live in Casco Township, which is near Richmond. Uh, of course, we, you know, we have already filmed some scenes in Elginac and Clay Township, which is the home of the legend. Ooh. And there are a few more scenes uh, to come uh, where we're, we're working on locations. Yeah, wow. Oh, my gosh. So how's the film going? And you said you're still working on it. And when do you plan on completing the film? So, so the film has come very good. We, we shot a couple days in the, uh, while we had some autumn weather last year. Okay. The autumn scenes of the movie. Um, over 90% of our film is in the summer, you know, so we want to shoot it this year. I do have another date coming up here uh, within three weeks. We're going to get another scene done yeah. at an actual abandoned house, and we're filming it because they're actually going to burn down the abandoned house oh. in a controlled fire, so we need to film that scene. Yeah. Uh, and then as far as uh, we hope to complete it, uh, we hope to complete the shooting, you know, by the end of this fall. Okay. Uh, to wrap up some of the remaining fall sequences, but the bulk of it we want to shoot this summer. Of course, this is all pending on funding, yeah. as is the hurdle to any project, right? Yeah. Uh, but we're doing good. You know, we've raised over 45% so far. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, and now we've got things to show people. Yeah. You know, Francis, I know that I want to keep up, and I'm sure our friends out there do, too. Is there a way that we can keep up with your progress and learn more about the movie and the legend? There is. So, moralroad.com, which is like tomorrow without the T.O., uh, and honestly, of all our face, of all our social media, I'd say Facebook, you know, is the one that we keep the with the most information. Okay. So that's more that's Facebook.com slash Morrow Road. But we are on Instagram and we are on Twitter and uh, even TikTok now. So but all the uh, yeah, the website. Yeah. That's yeah. so exciting. So you can find out more information, friends, in the hot link section of our website, WNEM.com. Good luck with your film. I cannot wait until it comes out. Please let us know when you've completed it, when you're finished. We want to go see it. Well, absolutely. Thank you. You I are will. so welcome. Thank you, Francis. If you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM-4PM News at WNEM.com.
Dot com. Just use the subject 4 p.m. News Spotlight.